and uh, in this episode I think most of you know what I'm going to do. Two small magnets packed up in a huge cartoon but I think that's because they are not <laughs> catching all the metal parts from the airport or transport. So I'm quite excited. Dun, 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 dun. Interesting. It seems that I have full set of magnets here. Hmm. Quite nice. I haven't done this before and actually I don't have a clue which magnet I supposed to install here. So how I can select the right magnet? Here is the lesson. When you have magnets both next one magnets should uh, pull this one against against each other when you are pointing face to face like this so these are now pulling it together and when I'm changing the position like this and trying then I cannot put those together the forces ripping those away from each others and also same to this side so now I know this is different polarity than these two and uh, you need to check this very carefully because the magnets are super strong and you don't want this to happen so be very careful use something between the magnets that they don't click too hard each other's so now I think it's good and I have this kind of glue that might be enough hey there is some <laughs> guide okay it says I need to mix this 30 seconds Good. Then I will fuck set small amount over here. I think this will help also slide the magnet on the right place. So once again I will check that this is right one. Yep. Yep. Wish me luck. Maybe I need to use some clothes. No. Haha! <laughs> Check this one! It's going on the right place! Even without touching. Dun, dun. I don't know how healthy this glue is, but at least it's beautiful! Boom! Oh, I'm so happy. Very good, very good. Thread locking liquid. So the screw will stay there and not popping off. But I'm quite worried about the torque because last magnet was cracked over here and I believe that's because too much force applied when tightening the screw so I don't want broke this magnet also I think that's enough and I'm securing this to that little or this liquid here. Okay, there I have. There we have magnet. Then 
I am applying this to each corner of each magnet so I can add little bit strength here not much but little bit okay I have now made some kind of protective cover now it's on the right place good Okay, then I suppose to install install the rotor. Now, I think the rotor should be on right place and I will or I try to remove this Okay, so I think it is bottoming now. Okay, now it's good. Then it's time to install front plate. And this will be a little bit tricky. I have the O-ring here, which I have also changed because the original was installed in, in the wrong slot. But as you can see, this O-ring is a little bit too long. So I need to set it very carefully here and check that it won't pop off or pop out from the roll and that's why I need to be very careful Hey! This is quite interesting because the, the movement is somehow it's it's so much smoother than before. It's very interesting because I was told that the crack on the magnet shouldn't affect anything, anyhow, so... Hmm, actually, interesting, very interesting. So the encoder is now on right place. Back cover is installed. 
So basically the motor is now ready to be assembled back to the back to the bike. This one will be different kind of screw because I have very tight fitment for the secondary axle bearing housing so it needs to be a little bit low, lower position than the original bolts are so thank you for watching this episode and uh, next episode I, I hope that the bike will be on track see you